took off my wig and I it's only been a week it's only been a week I took off my wig and let my scalp breathe a little bit because I had this on there the whole time and boy it felt good to be able to take it off I'm starting to like this whole wig thing you can take it off where you feel so your head is not always with hair big hair on it like when I took off this wig today, I was just like, oh, whew, yes, it felt so good. And all I gotta do is sew it back on. That's all I gotta do. And I, and I just absolutely love it. So, for two days out of the week, I was off. Because I have an on-call, I'm in retail, I'm not a doctor, but I have on-calls. <laughs> Don't ask. But, um, so I had two on-calls and they were both not. Well, I think it was one on call and I just had a day off. <laughs> so, I had two days off and I didn't do anything to this wig. I really did not. I did not touch it. <laughs> the bangs are so hot and just, oh my god, it's scorching hot outside. And I was just like, I am not touching this thing. I'm not taking this headband off my head at all. I refuse. These bangs are not touching my forehead for these next two days. <laughs> so, I didn't do anything to my hair at all. So, look what happened to my wig. Look, look at it. I made it look decent yesterday. Curled it and straightened it. Curled up, bumped the front of the bangs and, and straightened it out. So, it was one day that I had to fix it. And that was yesterday, Friday. So, I had Thursday and Wednesday off. And my wig is completely torn up. Look, look, look at it. Look at that. Stringy and just... Ugh. Yeah. So... I really feel like that's what happens when you put a flat iron through this hair. I really felt like after I flat ironed it, I was like, man, I feel like I actually could have left it straight because it was so silky straight. Like, you really didn't have to do anything. But I like my ends bumped under. So, if anything, I probably should have just bumped the ends and called it a day. But my behind just had to go put a flat iron through it. And that's how it look looks. If you don't give it attention. After you put a flat iron through it, you better put it in. Whenever you're ready, whenever you need to, to go somewhere, or it will look like this. So now, since it's been a whole week and I took the wig off and I'm seeing how crazy it got after not doing anything to it for two days, and the back is just a complete, complete, complete mess. Complete mess. I know you see all that tangling in the nape area. Ugh, sleeping in it with no, with just a headband, that's another thing. My mom stole my bonnet. I started putting weave in her hair. She decided she needed the bonnet more than I did. So, yeah, so my mom felt like her hair needed the bonnet more than I did. So she took it over. And look what happened. Tangling in the nape area more than anything. I'm just going to flat iron and try to revive it. Hopefully that works. But wish me luck, guys. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Look at this foolishness. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Alright. Bye. Hi guys. <clears throat> so, I have church in the morning. And I'm not going with my head. I'm going to up like this. <laughs> so, I've got to revive this wig now. So, what I'm going to do. Because, like I said earlier, look. Look at that tangling. If that is not the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. But that's the nape area in the back. You know where your hair rubs up against your clothes, and that's where it gets tangled the most if it ever gets tangled. <clears throat> but right the rest of the hair, not much tangling. It's just that area, you can't really brush through it. <laughs> I like to brush my hair throughout the day, and if I'm at work, I can't brush my hair as much as I'd like to. Or if I'm home and I'm chilling, I'm not gonna do nothing to my hair at all. Cause I'm not going nowhere, so I need to get all spruced up. So I just leave it. <laughs> Sometimes I put a little bun in the back, but obviously the hair didn't like the little ponytail. It didn't like to be in a ponytail for two days, so it tangled up in the back. And I don't have my bonnet. Like I said, my mom decided she wanted to take over my bonnet, so that I need one. I buy a better one. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna. 
They tangle it with this brush. Hopefully, wish me luck for the back. <laughs> Cause that's gonna be hell. But just pretty much just run it through. See? All that is easy to get through. It really is. It's just when it comes to the back area, it's kinda like snagging at the end. my flat iron through it to get it back to where it was. Alright. My bangs are fine. Short hair is always fine. I'm just gonna brush out the edges first before I get to the back area. Hope and hopefully none of my my um, thread pops trying to detangle it. So I'm holding the track at the top for the wig. I'm holding it like that, tightly. Making sure I'm holding the track also. And I'm gonna try to like brush. Then the bottom up. Oof. All right. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh oh, there's thread in my brush. Hopefully that's from something else. <laughs> Cause I did cut the thread out of my wig today to take out my edges. I had to cut the thread. So maybe that's what that is. <laughs> but yep. My wig is completely untangled. I wanna run the flat iron through the back badly. Now my wig looks decent again. Especially the back. Look at the difference in the back. Completely straight again. So, now, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I simply ooh, this thing wanna act like it wants to fall off. Simply gonna show you how I'm gonna revive my wig. using my handy dandy wig head. Please ignore her, she has been through so much. I don't know what happened. Just, I guess from just leaving the wig on there, I don't know. But she turned to a whole bunch of different colors and she's just, ugh, Lisa Ray just looking nasty. That's her name, Lisa Ray. But, um, <clears throat> yes. Use my handy dandy wig clips. <laughs> I'm going to use four of them. Hold them in this little rubber band box that I got a very long time ago. I'm running out of rubber bands, I need to buy some. I swear these rubber bands have lasted me for like a good five or six years. The amount that we're in there. Oh my booty. Yes, that's all I'm talking about. So. And I don't know if I'm going to put it back on tonight or if I'm going to just do it in the morning. But knowing how, how it's hard for me to wake up on a Sunday morning, I'm probably just going to put it back on tonight. I'm gonna fix it. 